Right, I'm back on my new camera. Just popped up on the hill. I'm going to take a few uh, videos and then see if they do come through okay on the other camera. I'm going to switch the card, the jib. And I'm just going down here where I know there was something before, but I hadn't been this far. And then, how's about that? It's uh, something to do with 114th. It's a button. And it's a very, very nice button. And I've had one of these kind before. But about two miles away. Isn't that a little belter, eh? Whoa, wee. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> that's made the trip. <laughs> and uh, a half penny. Very green, very dark. It's a young head Victoria, I can just make that out, but I can't get a date for... Uh, well, one pass down that wall and I've got, what, a button, a draw handle, half penny, a lead pellet, a button, and a brass ring, bronze ring. <laughs> Not doing bad at all. Well, another bronze penny. Oh, a curious piece of thingy there. Not sure what kind of metal that is. And uh, look at that. Bronze screw on cap look. <laughs> There's a couple of bob there in, in money scrap, I'll tell you. Couple of dollars in your language, fellas. Well, I've picked up a few more uh, pieces of junkite metal and uh, just got a nice bronze penny. It is a nice penny, is that? 1910, Edward VII. Well, I'm going to call it a night. I haven't done much filming because I don't trust this camera yet to actually uh, load. Now, I've got this on maximum zoom and those white things, not the buildings, those buildings are in Leeds. And those white things on the horizon, they're the power stations, Drax power station. That's about 40 mile away. Watch. <laughs> you get a tremendous view from up here. Anyway, see you at the roundup. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the roundup. I'm pleased to say this system I'm using, swapping cards in cameras, is working a treat. The camera I'm holding at the moment is the only one which will talk to my computer. <laughs> oh, it, doesn't life get complicated? Had a good day out today, just went out to see if the camera worked and actually found a little belt of luck. Whoa -ho. Back to the junk. <laughs> a junk out it field, it certainly was. Look at this, pieces of copper, 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 a screw. Oh, this is interesting. Sometimes you see these bits of metal and you think, what are they for? And then you see that, what are they for? And here... This is how it actually went together. That was the washer look. Held that down. Ah, this bit of junk out is interesting. Can you see the impression of a key there, look? I think that's the back of a lock mechanism. And the key has been pushing up against it how many times it made an impression. Here's an interesting one. I thought this was an eyelet, but the way it is, the way it is, um, something went in the back of there and was held down with these clamps. Uh, oh, weird and wonderful. Oh, oh, I love detecting. You never know what you're going to get. This is a valve look. It's like a bike valve, but I've never... That pushes into something, doesn't it? It doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't... That part doesn't screw in, that part shoves into something. Indeedy. And what's this? Looks like there's a thread on that top bit, so that screws down into here. Anyone recognise any of these things? And this was interesting. Look. <laughs> it's it's um, a dome of lead. Yeah, you've got some good stuff today, actually. Now here is a caster off a chair, but wow, 
Look at the age of that. That is old, 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 old. Yet the principle's still the same as modern day ones, look. Where the, the spike from the chair actually goes down there and then rolls around on the on the chairs. Bit of a spoon. Yay. <laughs> What's left of it? Bit of a door handle. A drawer, I should say. This this would go on a drawer. It broke, so they threw it out. Got over here. Th this is this is weird. And uh, I think there's initials on there because it's a very quite thick, interesting metal. Not quite sure what. It's not pewter. It, it's uh, better metal than that. But I don't know what it's for. That was an air gun pellet splat. <laughs> Little button. Oh, got any writing on there? Not that I can make out. Little pewter button. A bronze ring. This was for either off a horse or trousers. And that's a, a finger ring. Very delicate. Very, very, very delicate little finger ring. It's even got markings on it uh, underneath there. Very old. Very small signal, there was barely anything there to pick up. Now this. You know an umbrella when you push it up and down? Well this is the thing that the, uh, the struts go into. But this is big, I've never seen one this big. This is off a, either a Paris, probably a summer parasol or something like that. Uh, it's one huge umbrella. That's for sure. Coins. I actually got three coins. 1860 something. Half penny. Very badly worn. A 1916 penny. Not too bad. George V. See the Britannia. And Edward VII. 1910. Doing well. But the piece de resistance is this. This button. Splendid little button. It says VRBS CX14, which is a date, but they didn't bring AD into fashion until about 500 AD. So <laughs> it's like putting BC on a date, <laughs> it can't be done. So this cannot be old. It's a button probably. Oh, I don't know. I found another one of these. Uh, not as good as that one, but I found this one a few months back. Down, oops, down the ravine. Uh, there you go, same thing, look. And it's Roma. Now, these are fashion buttons, but I found one very similar to this with charioteers up in the gold field. So that could be Victorian. So, let's say... Oh... Before 1900 and after 1900. Um, late 19th, early 20th century, I should imagine. Now that's Roma. She's the guardian of Rome. And she's holding victory up there, look, on, on the palm. Uh, looks very much like Britannia, doesn't it? Eh? <laughs> and these were on the coins of uh, Constantine, actually. Uh, now, what can I tell you about this? There was a temple, the Venus Genitrix, and it was built by Julius Caesar, 46 BC. But it was rebuilt by Trajan. So this is to commemorate the rebuilding of that temple. But this is modern, because that date cannot be. <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> It's, it's like having a, a BC stamped on starters, you know. They didn't know it was before Christ, did they? <laughs> and as they didn't start doing the notation until 500 not AD, 114 AD, it just can't exist. But a nice, nicer, I like that. So there you are. 
even if you're just going out to uh, see if your camera works get your head stuck into a field and it'll turn something up so all the best now you take care I'll put you alongside the other one there something worth doing once is worth doing twice isn't it <laughs> and we'll see you on the next hunt take care Bye.